Hi guys, Russell here from e Yachts in Palma, Mallorca. Just behind me you may see the newest addition to the x fleet in the x 29's cross cabin and sun top. Now we're actually going to get an opportunity to take this out for a spin today, so come along with us and uh, we hope you enjoy. Quickly, a few first impressions of the boat. You have to compare this boat to the very popular Axpar 28. And the first thing you notice when you step on board, both models is the change in outside working space. The bow modifications they've made on this boat with the, the rising bow, stepping up, giving space for the cabin below, U-shaped seating at the front, U-shaped option at the back for the sun top. Axapar have always been great boats socially, but now they've really opened up their social space on board with these two impressive models. So a bit of time has passed now guys, we're back in Australia. Just reflecting on the Axpar 29s that we got to experience over in Palma. To carry on those first impressions, the thing you notice first from the dock is the Axpar 29. It's just that bit more aggressive looking and I really like that. It's got a bit of a temper to it. It's got that forward brow. At the end of the day, these Axapars are designed for performance. So this is a chop chewing performance and efficiency machine, giving it that aggressive line. It's very good. Talking just about the 29 cross cabin now, when you go into the pilot house, in comparison to the Axpar 28, there are a few little bugbears in there, one being the ability to maneuver around the helm and the passenger seats. In the 29, they've got a bit more width, a bit more height, and it feels so open in there, and you can get around either side easily. On the right-hand side next to the driver's seat, there's a little step that you come through, but on the port-hand side, it's actually full depth in there, so it's a walk around those seats. Then going into the back, say you were to option up an aft cabin, on the previous 28, you would lift up the seats vertically and then still have to duck down to get into that aft cabin area. On these seats, it's a gate opening, open sideways, which means you have full height. You're not hunched over as much, particularly for those taller people. The other thing you'll notice being in the cross cabin, I find this very clever, is they have moved the roof supports forward. So when you're in the driver's position, you essentially have 180 degree vision out the back for your mooring up stern to. You can see both sides of the boat and you can see the engines through the back window. So you have all the visibility you might need when maneuvering the vessel. Specifically talking about the 29 Sun Top now, the main difference and an option that you don't get in the cross cabin is that they've created that U-shaped seating under the now hard Sun Top. It was fabric with the 28, you've now got a full Sun Top with an opening sunroof on the Axpo 29 Sun Top. That U-shaped seating with the helm and passenger seats that turn around, that seating for 6, 7 to dine in shade or in sun if you want to. The beauty of that layout is behind the U-shaped seating, you still have room to maneuver back there 
And with the new addition of the aft fender wet bar, you have everything on an open boat that you would need for Sydney Harbour, Brisbane, the hotter climbs. It's just a perfect day boat. The big one from Axapar on performance is they've always had this characteristic. You don't get much rise when you're going onto the plane, when you're going up through the revolutions up to about 15 where you're on the plane. And this Axapar 29 is no different. You do not lose sight of the horizon. There's a slight raise, but in comparison to other boats I've driven around Sydney Harbour, where you might be up for quite a while before you recessle onto the plane, the Axapars, the hull's doing the job, it carves through. The other thing that we didn't want to see lost looking at the 28 and stepping up to the 29 is a lot of the performance of Axapars is that they keep that low center of gravity. Now the concern is when you're adding all of these additional innovative features for space, the forward multi-cabin or the extra height of the hard top that you have on the sun top is that you change that center of gravity but Axapar have managed to pull it off hats off to them they've kept the weight down on this boat the vertical center of gravity is still very low and that means that you don't get that uh, pendulum effect that you may see on other vessels the boat is very stable in transit and when you pull up to your anchorage to chill out for the day. So to wrap up my first impressions on the Axpar 29s, when following such a popular model in the Axpar 28s, I mean the 28 was the game changer, it was the opening of the adventure boat market that so many others have you know, tried to get into, so many other brands. When following such a formidable predecessor, the concern is, is that you're adding things and you may take away from it in some ways, so you may take away from the performance or the versatility, but Axapar have managed to pull it off. They fit so much into this new model without taking away from what makes Axapar Axapars and what makes them the best adventure boat brand in the world. It's incredible.